All right, Burns, this is probably one of our favorite subjects, um, and it's really helped us move forward faster, and it's about cinch placement. So cinch placement is important in any kind of saddle fitting. Um, we talk about cinch placement in a little bit different manner. We talk about the lung capacity. Lungs are up here, they come back, <clears throat> and they finish back here. <clears throat> we also talk about some nerves. Set of nerves here, set of nerves here, lateral artery here. Why do we want to keep the cinch off of those? Number one, these nerves get hot. Number two, a lateral artery. Artery is blood supply. We need the most blood supply we can get to the lungs for the lungs to capacitate it full. So when we cinch a horse up, we always want to make sure that our cinch placement is good. The head, the head of our cinch, there's a little sweet spot. If you come up off the elbow and straight across, it's just a little indentation like my thumb. I always keep my hand back behind that latigo so it's a smooth <clears throat> transaction with the horse. You don't ever want to cut a horse in half. I'm a three-part cincher. I'm going to cinch fairly tight. I'm going to walk him off, cinch him up a little more, walk him off. The third time, I'm going to cinch him up and go to work. Uh, the back cinch is the same. Some people don't like a back cinch on a barrel saddle. Uh, that's a personal preference. Uh, one question we get asked a lot are how much do our saddles weigh? Uh, this saddle weighs about 28 pounds. Uh, if you want it to be lighter, take your billets off. So really great presentation here today. Make sure you have a good cinch. Um, it's gonna allow that dorsi muscle to actually elongate and do its job. Burns, 1876.